Also, Zero out of ten. Wouldn't buy it again. <laughs> also, apparently, three Dis at once. Holy shit! Sorry, also, you were saying. No, sorry, it's fine. Uh, apparently, Disney just. Um, this is apparently earlier today. Over Disney, here. Yeah, Disney Plus announced that they're releasing um an original series. Apparently, it's just two episodes. Called the Santa Clauses. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I saw Santa that. Claus I saw series. that. Yeah, it's a I saw the trailer. It's a sequel to the Santa Claus. Didn't they? Didn't the third movie bomb so badly, though? No, but like nostalgia is a big factor now, so they're going to be p pandering to that nowadays. But... Oh, yeah. Well, the, nostalgia I mean... is a big factor. Yeah. Because they totally don't have a good idea on how to work with, you know, people's nostalgia. I will say I liked all three of the Santa Claus movies. I, I there were bits and pieces I liked of each one. Like I I don't hate the third one as much as other people do. I only I mean, watched I, the first, and that was enough for me. Say, Wolfhead and I watched the first one for like a Christmas date, and I, we liked it. We thought it was cute. The only thing I like about the Santa Claus series is when Santa Claus slipped on the, slipped on the roof, fell, cracked his back in half, and then died. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, that's the fucking Santa Claus fucking dies. I I never got over that as a kid. Santa just... Claus fucking dies, and they treat, and all the elves are just eh, eh, whatever. Who's the new guy? <laughs> now you mean our own fat belly under elf under new management. And if, I kind of do like that the ridiculousness of the Santa Claus's movie always have to go back to that stupid card that um that Tim Allen's character finds, and they're always like. Oh, and it has all the contracts on it. Wait, what? Zoom in. There's like words within the words, and then words within yeah. the words. And the words. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! How the fuck did they even plan that? They're elves. They're magic. Fuck. Bonk. Also, I squish Ryza. I need to ask uh -uh. Dusk about this later. So I ordered a fucking uh, hoodie uh, off of uh, Linus' site. Anyways. Um, it was supposed to ship to me within three to nine days, but for some reason it goes from Canada to Australia back over to the U.S. And I'm like, why? Would it go? <laughs> but, why but why though? Like, why, why did, did it go? he? Why did it go to Australia? That's on the ass end of. The, that's the exactly. Earth's taint. It's like the Earth's taint. Like, what is, it's so far did you just out of the Earth's taint. Don't That's the Earth's taint. That. It's all the way at the bottom. Wolfhead, I love you, but why? <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Australia, ye is. Here's your you boomerang. Sound like, you sound like fucking British, not Australian. Okay, let me. Here's my Australian accent. That's not accent. a knife. This that's is not a knife. This is a, yeah, that's it's an literally Australian like the accent. only thing that they would have to like say in order to reference an Australian accent next to like. Saying mate, and even mate has become a bit of a blur. Hello, hello. My favorite uh movie is Kangaroo Jack because it has kangaroos in it, oi. Or hey, hold on. the dingo I got the baby story was true. Okay. Hold on, I got this. Oh what? Good night, mate. My name is Kangaroo Jack. I like oh, shrimp on the Bobby. Okay, <laughs> my so how, many do? <laughs> how many of y'all were like tricked as a kid into seeing Kangaroo Jack because you all thought it was just gonna be about this walking, talking, rapping, uh, like kangaroo? kangaroo. I was, but I don't remember anything from the movie, but I do know 100% that I did see it because I did think... Because, like, the person in charge of promoting the movie showed that yeah. one clip where... And it only happens it was a once fever in the dream film! Too. It was a yeah. fever dream that one of it's the characters had. It was like a 15 minute part in the movie. And then the rest of the movie is just totally it's different from that. It's like, it's like terrible mobster movie mixed yeah. in with a kangaroo. Mm. Also, can we, like, I remember seeing the posters and the trailer for it, and it literally, like, I nice. literally knew from the get-go it was going to be bad. And then I saw snippets of it afterwards, and all I could think was, wow, that was fucking right. It is terrible. And then every Australian unsubbed from Wolf. Oh, are they gonna? They, did they unsub with their boomerangs? Did they hit the unsub dudes? button with their boomerangs yeah, and their God. didgeridoos? I think I remember show like I was talking to my friend Alex about it when we were just rambling about Kangaroo Jack, and the first thing out of my goddamn mouth after showing him a clip was, 
why did they make the kangaroo think? And he's just like, why the <laughs> fuck did you say that? Why not? Yeah, why not, Dev? Why not, hon? I was like, why did they make him thick? He's like, why the fuck would you say that? I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to know? They made him thick. Have you ever seen a real-life kangaroo? They're actually, like, well, not thick. I don't want to call they're real buff. kangaroos thick. They are they're buff. buff. And they're, they're super assholes, buff, yeah. from what I gather, from what I heard. They, they are, are also assholes. assholes, yeah. Yeah, they are assholes. But they're adorable. They're not adorable when they're kicking you over the fucking world <laughs> with their adorable. powerful ass feet. Ryza is a sick, right? Ryza is literally a masochist if he can just be like, hey, look, the kangaroo's adorable, and they get kicked in the face. A Aww. kangaroo will literally kick your ass, kick your ass to the moon. You like, you don't need space travel. You don't need Elon Musk. All you need is a kangaroo. Turn it upside down. Stand on its feet, and it will kick you to the moon. We have solved space travel. That's how that works. But we need Jeff Bezos' space. But how would I breathe in space? Use D Jeff Bezos' diamond encrusted space suit. Again. No, his space dick. You know the thing he he rode on last year. <laughs> his but own space dick. No, not but I don't like, think Rises um no, yeah, roll that way, so he would have to wear the space suit. What? <laughs> Riley said that it, I pretty much said that if you wanted to go into space, you have to was, wear Jeff Bezos' um, diamond no. encrusted space suit. But Riley said, "Oh, but he, no, it would have to be a space dick." No, the literal spaceship that he, he, <laughs> he didn't you see the whole thing last year with the spaceship that he was on looked like a literal dick. No, I didn't. All I know is that he went into space and everyone was like, Wretch guy got into space! I'm like, uh... No, anyway. no. So I get an image of the fucking spaceship that, like, Jeff Bezos was on. Yeah. And because... Not Ryan for nothing, know. though. Don't, like, most spaceships look like dicks. I felt like that was a silly thing to roast him for. Don't most spaceships and space shuttles look like dicks? At least a little bit. I mean, the space shuttles look like, um... Dick ships, because they're they're extremely phallic in shape and nature. I mean, this I, is an actual penis. No, like it, it, it lit like so many references were made. Like it was like that scene from the, the especially that scene from uh, Austin Powers. If you know what I know, what I'm talking about. God damn the it. The only the only scene I know from Austin Powers is when him and the lady were in the tent, and because of the shadows, it made it look like she was pulling umbrellas out of his ass when she wasn't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Ryza posted it. Oh my god, it does look like a dick. I told you! <laughs> it looks like a dick. It literally looks like a big, giant schlong. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, Elon's ship looks more like a schlong than other ships. I'm just That's saying. Jeff Bezos, not Elon. Jeff. I mean, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos, yes. I mean, I'm not surprised he would be rich enough to own a fucking rocket. Who's richer, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk? This is Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Uh, actually, I think if I remember correctly, Jeff Bezos actually is the second richest man on Earth. Apparently, they someone keep else. going is back and forth, from what I've heard. Yeah, you, sometimes it'll be Jeff and sometimes it'll be Elon. Okay, okay. But I think a new guy ended up becoming the richest man on Earth recently. I think he ended Jeffrey up Bezos! You did Jeffrey it. Bezos! You did, you did it! Also, Elon Musk literally could exist on Twitter and everyone's just, That's it! Elon Musk is gonna, sh gonna shoot us all! Are you guys just Again. mad to make shitty memes? If Again, I think the only thing that would change it would be like that scene from Mega Mind. Oh, I think it's just under new management, where it's just another shitty person in charge. I mean, Jack and the new guy were Jack and the other guy were pretty shitty. Uh, uh, yeah. Honestly, the only thing Elon Musk will probably do is just get us the damn edit button. Oh, whereas Twitter cool. right now is just you want the edit button, you want the edit button. Well, fuck you! You need to subscribe three like, bucks. Even like even like a timed edit button, like for like the first five minutes of a tweet, when what you realize, you oh shit, I I I I missed a word or I I fucked up the grammar or some shit or, like that. Or or maybe a ha maybe an hour for maybe a time limit for an hour. At least yeah, either one. Yeah, like, just as long like, as we get an edit button instead of Twitter constantly flaunting it around in our face. Would be nice. But we, 
<laughs> but we already have the edit button. It's called Twitter Blue or whatever the fuck. Which, it by is. the way, Twitter, we're not fucking subscribing to that. You can go to hell. <laughs> is Twitter Blue still a thing? I'm on my homepage yeah, on Twitter it's... right now and I don't see it. No, Twitter Blue is still a thing. They're still trying to force people okay. to subscribe to it so they can get the edit button. Because you said 2600. Sorry. Also, apparently, once again, the oil people are being stupid. They tried to once again damage another painting. Uh, yeah. And glued themselves to the wall next to the painting. I saw that. I, this is the worst trend of all time. Why are people doing this? I don't give a shit if you're standing against oil. You literally thinking, hey, let's throw shit at these famous paintings is not helping the cause. You're just being stupid. Doesn't Twitter Blue still have those NFT profiles? I have no idea. Um, I think that was just in general for people. Silence Hexagon. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was so fucking stupid. Are NFTs still a thing? I would argue yes. Uh, yes, they're, of course. They're, like, they're trying to still... Like, uh... Isn't, like, Nickelodeon trying to do them again or some shit I heard recently? I, I really don't know. All I do remember is that apparently, I think it was Paramount tried to do NFTs of the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. And yeah, I heard about that. And everyone just kind of laughed and said, Why the fuck would you do NFTs of, the, of those movies when we can literally either buy the movies or pirate them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'd really love to sit down and watch all the Lord of the Rings movies. The extended cuts, mind you. I mean, if you're gonna watch them, you might as well watch the extended cuts, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it contains pretty much all the... all. It pretty much all the extended cuts are all for people who want the full story. I mean, I guess we're gonna watch them at some point, correct? I mean, tomorrow we're gonna watch... We're gonna finish up Stranger Things. Yeah. Mm. And didn't you say we were gonna watch Drawn Together? We are going to watch Drawn Together, Riley. Uh, I feel sorry that you guys are going to force yourselves to watch Drawn Together. It was my idea, and I brought Riley along because he's a trash panda. He's a media trash panda. I mean, he like he mean he mm. considers Freddy Got Finger to be a classic movie. So I, I again, I love it as like I I'm trying to understand what like what Tom Green is going for. I, I love to I don't know. <laughs> Good explanation, man. Basically, Good the explanation. Ma I'm trying to make understand the madness behind these scenes that Tom Green has concocted. For <laughs> I mean, I understand that. It's sort of similar to again. This is just me being a rampant music nerd, but it kind of reminds me a bit to how I feel with um, the band Liturgy's the artwork, where they basically went electronico, weird, distorted type of music. But at the same time, even I can kind of look at this and be like, wow, this is incredibly fucking stupid. Why the hell are people defending this? Why am I defending it? Why am I defending it? Why do I like it so much? I mean, kudos to you for literally still seeing Freddy Got Fingered as a... As a... Oh, no, I admit that it's probably... It's a shit movie. I'm just saying I, I still love it. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I did like about that movie, and this is mainly because I saw the cinematic no. excrement movie, was the um daddy would you like some sausage daddy would daddy you like some sausages i mean i guess an, a, a movie example is um mother 2017 because on one hand i do appreciate the um the concepts and by some extent the imagery and the atmosphere that darren afronowski was trying to do with that movie at the same time, I don't like the fact that we had to be shoved in so much of so much gratuitous pretentiousness that it makes the guy who made Antichrist look like a fucking saint. Oh, and Melancholia too, because the last thing I need is the guy who made that movie fucking make feel worse. Blue Griffin, you know what movie consider I... yourself lucky because I've seen a few clips of what happens during Freddy Got Fingered, and it's it's a, mess. Hmm? It's a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Colden, Colden is just so beaten down by the Freddy Got Fingered discussion. He's just, it's no master. Please, please let me let me free. Let this end, please. <laughs> it's I, I really am tempted. Like, if I were to do it in the future, I'd literally what? find a way to do an edit of Gray Matter just slamming his hooves on a piano and just saying that Daddy, 
would you like some sausage line with it's, gold in front? I've already golden seen the, the one where, like, Adam is commenting on things, and I was already getting so pissed off. Like, I Freddy the, in the, the movie is one of the most, like, he's such an asshole to everybody. He makes a mess out of everybody, and he did some of the sickest shit possible. Oh, you're thinking of Tom Green, because Freddy is his apparent brother in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Freddy is the brother who gets fingered. Yeah. Also, spoiler, <laughs> I hate he that. jerked off an elephant. Oh, the horse. Oh, hey, look at this awesome. Hi, I'm a farmer, baby. I'm a farmer, daddy. I'm a farmer, daddy. I'm a farmer. Someone did an edit of that with Neon Genesis Evangelion in the in that infamous moment, by the way.